Welcome back aliens, this is Narvin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we will we'll go for some questions and I will try to answer those questions. So as, as you know we have already done, we have already started with QA sessions right, so this is our second session. Uh, so I have taken some questions again uh, from the comment section or from the uh, Facebook messages or from YouTube messages. So these are, these are some questions asked for some, asked, asked by some people. So the first question here is. Uh, hello Navin, can you please arrange the videos in order to learn from the following playlist which is Java Tutorial for Beginners. Uh, is it okay to start from the existing order? Uh, Java Tutorial for Beginners is a playlist in which I have approximately 164 videos and all these videos are already sorted. Okay, the thing is I have not created all the videos in sequence. Okay, so while creating these videos I have created those videos in you know in any order but that sequence which is arranged in the playlist is in a sequence format okay and that's why you can see there are some videos with a lot loud voice there are some videos with low voice there are some videos with different shirts there are some videos with different beard uh, so that that's so that that is because i have created those videos in uh, in different time okay so some have some videos are very new some videos are very old so it's just have i tried to cover all the topics the thing is when you go to the playlist you will see everything in sequence Okay, so that's the first question. Second, uh, but Google, uh, second question is, Google is developing its own language, uh, okay, which is already developed, which is Go language. What about that? Okay, this question is for the video which I have created for, uh, will Google replace Java with uh, Swift for Android? The thing is, uh, Google is, you know, maybe they're trying to use Swift for Android and they also have a language is Go language. Uh, the thing is, Go language is not uh, not exactly as a mobile platform, right? If you talk about uh, Swift, is a mobile platform, right? We use Java for uh, Android is because uh, it's a platform independent language. The thing with Go is it's not it doesn't work on virtual machine, right? So it's not specifically platform independent. So Go is a replacement for C and C plus plus or Python, but it's not a replacement for Java. So I don't think Google will prefer to use Go language for Android. Uh, the thing is go language is supported on android so now you can write android apps using go language but it cannot replace java right so maybe swift will replace it but not go at least at this short run uh, next dear sir i am manish and have no idea in java okay you are new very new to uh, programming and you have already done your mechanical engineering uh, and there are lots of job in it sector so can you give me some suggestion? Okay. So let's say you are you don't know anything about IT now. Let's say you are you are zero in programming. Okay. So first thing you have to understand what is programming. It will take one month. Then you need to understand the different concepts again regarding softwares, right? So making developing software is not just programming. Developing software includes lots of things. Uh, if you heard about SDLC, which is Software Development Lifecycle, in which you have to understand lots of stuff, like example. Uh, how to take requirement from user, how to analyze those requirements, how to create a design, then how to uh, design a GUI, then you have to code a, code those software, you have to test it, you have to deploy. There are lots of stuff going on when you talk about software development. So let's say if you want to get into IT now, you need to understand how software works, you need to understand what is programming, you need to understand what these terms means, testing, del deployment, then maintenance, all those stuff. Uh, so it will take approximately six months to get that idea about all this stuff. So I would recommend you join any, uh, uh, you, you can go to Coursera, uh, which is a very awesome website. You can join some courses there. You can, you can learn about software development there, what exactly software development means. And then choose one technology. You can choose Java, you can choose uh, .NET, you can choose PHP, it's your choice, right? So let's say if you are choosing Java, then again, it will take more three months to learn Java. Uh, not exactly three months, it all depends upon your pace. Right, so if you're, you can learn Java in one month, you can learn Java in one year, it's all depending upon your pace. So as per me, if you are very new to programming, if you are very new to uh, IT, do one thing, spend one year by learning software development, learn about C programming, go for C++, then go for Java. It will take one year to completely get into that uh, job mode. So if you want to be a job ready now, do all the stuff. But I guess there are some companies who directly hire mechanical engineering people and they train uh, all this stuff to those people in three months. Example, uh, yeah, there, there are lots of companies. You can just go to Google, search for the company names who hire mechanical engineering student for, uh, for IT jobs. 
Otherwise, you can you can spend your one year by learning all the stuff. It's not difficult, okay? Uh, you can do it. It's just it will be some bit time consuming for you. Okay. Uh, next, uh, yeah. So there's a question from uh, oh, this guy uh, Mahi. So Mahi says what? So the video is comment. Uh, this comment is on the video which is why to learn C programming, and the comment is. Uh, sir, as C is also known as K and R, where R is of course Richie and K is Carnegie, uh, then how can I say it is uh, Ken Thompson is the founder of C programming? Uh, to, to make just uh, your history clear, the thing is K and R, they are authors of a book of uh, C programming language. So, once the language was published, the first book which, which, which will teach you about C programming was the C programming language by Dennis Ritchie and Carnegie. It was, I guess, Brain Carnegie. So, Brain Carnegie is the author of that book. He is not the founder of C programming. Okay. So, when you say C programming, the only way to learn C programming at that time was uh, Carnegie. Okay. It was a Dennis Ritchie book and Carnegie. So, they were the co authors of that book. Okay. But the, if you say who is the founder, founder is Ritchie and the supported person, or you can say co founder, is Ken Thompson. Okay. So that's the answer. So Carnegie is not the founder of C programming. He's the he's the author of the book of C programming. Next, uh, familiar to code Java, I need to know if the so next question is from I guess Chandu. He says I need to okay. Should I go for Java certification after learning code Java? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, it's all depend upon uh, which company you join. So, you know, earlier five to six years back, if you want to be a Java, Java programmer, at that time to join a company, you need a certificate, right? Because that's the only way to prove that you have, you know, Java. But now we are living in a world of projects, right? So now uh, we don't need certification. It's good if you have one, but I will suggest make projects. Again, if you can, if you can spend money on certification, go for it. Okay. There's no harm in that. Uh, that's added, added advantage you'll be having. But I will suggest if you want to get job, uh, make projects, okay? Uh, make lots of projects, make create your own dummy idea, make projects and deploy that projects on uh, OpenShift server or you can also put the source code in GitHub, right? So GitHub is a repository where you can put all your projects so that when you go for the interview, they can uh, you can show them that you have made all these projects and they can verify your projects, right? So I, I think that will be more advanced, that will give you more advantage than Java certification. So Java certification proves that you know Java and project will make sure that you, you know how to make softwares and that's more important, right? So I will suggest make softwares and you can also go for certification after learning, learning Core Java. The next question is, I have learned Core Java, what should I do in order to learn Android? Okay, uh, in order to learn Android, you have to learn Android, right? Uh, the thing is, when you want to learn about Android, you can just go to my playlist. In my playlist, I have a, diff I have a a complete playlist, not complete, it's, it's under development now. So I have a playlist of Android in which I have told you about uh, what you should know to start with Android. You should know about uh, Java, the core Java concepts. You should know about uh, XML. And it is better if you know, if you have some understanding of GUI, how to build a GUI using Java. Okay. So the other thing we require to work with Android or to learn Android. So if you know Java, that's good. Learn XML now. Uh, learn how to make GUI in Java. It will be helpful for Android and just go to the playlist of Android Learn Android and all the best Then we have next question said I have learned code Java and advanced Java What course or technology should I offer? Oh, yeah, so this question is from Rishabh Singh. In fact, I have already given him answer using comment uh, I guess he's not sure about that so the thing is after learning Core Java and Advanced Java, there are lots of stuff you can go for. You can go for web development, which is being a Java developer. You can be an Android developer, right? After learning Core Java, you can just learn Android and you can be Android developer. You can also go for Hadoop development, okay, which is big data development. So if you know about big data, it's a concept in which you have huge amount of data. So you can use Hadoop to work with it. So again, you can use, you can work on Hadoop technologies. So once you learn Core Java, once you learn Advanced Java, you can switch to this, this different technologies. I will suggest be a web developer now, okay, at least for one year. And side by side, learn about Hadoop. You can be Hadoop developer in maybe one or two years. Uh, to learn Hadoop, you can go again. You can go to Coursera. You can just uh, watch those videos there, and yeah, you'll be ready for that. So it's all depend upon you, okay, which one you want to choose. If you're going for Hadoop, uh, 
you can learn other languages also you can learn java java is enough for that but you can also learn r programming which is r okay ready r so that's that is a programming language you can learn that also to work on big data okay next is uh, so the teaching is okay that's good that's, that's good yeah. But if you can add some assignments at the end of each tutorial, that will be good. Okay, yeah. that's a good suggestion. Uh, so what if you can just add some assignment questions after the video? I will do that on the next video for sure. But uh, the thing is, I have already created 500 videos, right? Is it 500? Uh, maybe 480 videos on YouTube. Now I cannot add assignments at the end of each video, right? So uh, what you can do, you can just go to my website, which is telisco.com. So it's www.telisco.com. It is there in the uh, in the at the end of the video so the, or the bottom bottom left side of the video so you will find that telisco.com there just go to the website there and you will find lots of uh, assignment questions there okay maybe lots of assignment questions and then there is one more thing called a test so after watching video you can just go there give the test of, of that concept and if you get good marks that means you know you know the concept of java right so yeah do that thing go to my website and you can find the assignments there Otherwise, I will make uh, some assignment questions for the next video. Okay, maybe I will I will attach some assignment question for this video also now. Okay, next uh, next question is from uh, Sanjeev. He says, "Can you please suggest some website that have demo projects on Java?" Uh, okay, there are lots of there are lots of websites in which you will find demo with demo uh, projects. You can just go to Google, search for demo projects in Java. You will get lots of stuff, right? But those uh, projects are very old now so if you want to have a look on new video or new projects in which they are using new technology i will suggest go to github it is g i t h u b so that's github website uh, github you do go just go to github and search for java projects there because that uh, github is a repository where we have lots of java projects and for not java there are lots of projects in which you have some projects in java so what you can do, you can just go to GitHub, search for Java project, download the project, study about it, what is that project means, you will get lots of ideas. I guess that's that's what you want, right? You want to uh, practice Java codes. So GitHub is the best place to uh, download free projects. And the last question for this video is audio issues. Uh, yes, there are lots of audio issues in my videos. Uh, the thing is, uh, there are, uh, you know, uh, I guess in last year when I was making videos in the month of June and July so what I was doing is I was using a, a software which is a noise remover software in my windows and that noise remover software has removed my voice totally right so that's why the audio is way less there so there are some videos I will say there are, lot, there are lots of videos in which there is some audio issues I am working on those videos again I am making those videos once again with the good audio quality Okay, so maybe in next one month you will not find any video which with the uh, bad bad audio. Okay, I hope that that will do. Uh, so yeah, so there are some videos you can just you can just use headphones to listen to those videos. Okay, it will if you are using speaker it will not audible. So ma make sure you use good headphones to uh, watch those videos. Time being uh, later I will change it. And and the, uh, again a warning there are some videos in which the voice is very really loud okay so uh, when I was working making videos for the first time in year 2013 and 14 uh, I was I used to shout a lot because the camera was very far okay now since I am using uh, you can see I have a microphone now so the sound is much proper earlier it was not that uh, not there so the voice was not that good right so yeah so there are some audio issues please uh, adjust those those the thing now. So that's it. Uh, that's it from this QA. If you have any more questions, you can just go to. Uh, you can comment your question on this video or any any. Uh, you can also discuss in the channel uh, discussion area about those questions. And you can also add me on Facebook. I'm there on Facebook. I normally post lots of things on Facebook. You can get the updates there. Uh, I'm there on Twitter. You can just search for Telisco Learning on Twitter and just uh, subscribe there or follow me there. And yeah, that's it. That's it from this session. Uh, if you have any questions, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching.